Hey guys, welcome back to Welcome Home Custom. Today we are going to learn how to assemble this beautiful showstopper called Floral Basket. Let's get started. Okay, so we are going to assemble the flowers and flower pot. We have a few options with this. First, I'm gonna show the option, just one layer. So I recommend you sort your pieces by number. You will notice that there's two ways that you'll have numbers. You'll either have numbers scored on the back or you will be advised for the pieces that have scoring detail on the front that you should write your numbers on the back. So this with the scoring on the back side of your piece, you will put your good side down. So this is my good side. I wanted all this beautiful wood grain. And then in this case, I wanted my good side up because I'm scoring my pattern and I'm writing my number on the back. I'm going to go ahead and sort my pieces and then also clean up wood as I go along. And then we will start laying it out. So now I'm going to start laying out my pieces and your pieces will be all the background first, one through like 40 something, and then you'll start doing your florals. So you're really just gonna start up here at the corner and start working through your pieces. So I'm gonna get all these placed and then we can talk about our different options. So this is our option one. I, I oiled everything. I got a picture just because I know some folks aren't gonna want to do the additional layers. I love the additional layers. So I'm just going to show you how to place those. So I decided to do multiple layers depending on where the item is placed, further behind or closer in front, right? So I made us a bunch of options. We could first, do let's go ahead and do the peonies first so you can see that so i'm going to take these off okay so our option one we could simply place we can place this down and this piece down i'm using one quarter inch just maple i do recommend if you're going to do this paint these a dark color because if you do like a dark um, walnut or even black if the outline is showing at all, uh, it will just disappear into the background. It won't be near as noticeable. We have this additional layer as our option number one. Now I'm going to go a little crazier and I am going to add even more layers. I am going to take this up. Oh, I think I need to cut a piece. Okay, so I had to recut my piece real quick. So I'm gonna add a layer here and I'm gonna add a layer under my leaves because technically my leaves are in front of my back peony right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and place these back again so you guys can see what this looks like. Okay, so now we have even more dimension, but I feel like also very pretty, but now we could even pop this one out, make this stick out even more. Let me get these pieces and I'm going to add again a one quarter inch. So it's gonna be about the same height as this one right here. Okay, so that's one quarter inch, one quarter inch and one quarter inch doubled up. Again, I would color the background. The last option is to raise up our vines as well as this little stem here and our basket. So let's raise our basket out. Now for this, I would use 1 8 inch because you don't want it to be flush with any of the floral because the floral is technically laying over the top of your basket. Okay, so we're gonna lay this on in. This is 532nd by Home Depot. Just, you could use cheap, cheap wood. It does not matter. 
Use up any cheap wood, even MDF is fine. Just, I would use one eighth for here, one quarter inch for here, and two one quarter inches for here. So you can see how now we've got this shadow here almost going on, but then we're separated from the background itself, okay? So now let me pull up my leaf and my stem. It's gonna be tricky. So I'm gonna lay this down inside and then I'm going to lay this down and then add our leaf back and I have one big piece for this section place it down and this wood is super warped so I'm going to have to weigh it down there when I go to glue my pieces and I know you guys are thinking, what the heck, how are we gonna glue this? But I'll walk through that in a little bit. And I'm gonna pull up this stem right here. And again, I'm just using 1 8 for this so that it looks like the petals are above the stem. Okay, so you see how there's a step down? And then we can start assembling. Okay, so I decided to paint both the leaves and the flowers. And I think I'm gonna do a live tutorial on how I did that. So I used uh, Thule markers. I got them on Amazon. This is in the Earth Pack, number 1325-1917. And then I also used some fusion paint for the leaves in the colors Man Manor uh, green, bayberry, and press fern. So I'm pretty happy with this. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to glue this all together. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into that. So first thing we need to do is take everything off and then we are going to tape our pieces on the base layer. So let's go ahead and remove all these. So let's go ahead and tape this down. And then we also are gonna want to go ahead and give this a coat of something um, since I did add paint, so I'm probably going to spray these with my polyacrylic uh, and let them dry. Uh, let me grab out my blue tape. Just like all my other quilts, what we're focusing on is lining up and then taping down. We're going to grab our backer. I don't have enough room on my table. Flip it. There's the back. Let's move this over to the side. And we are going to add lots of glue because I think this glue is, yeah, it's getting gross. Flip it back. So since we've got more than one level, I am gonna take tape off now. I'm checking my edges. Ooh. Push that down. Making sure I'm not hanging over anywhere. So I am gonna go ahead and carefully remove my tape. Anything pops up, we can just push it right back into place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this magnet and we are just gonna set it down right on top. Everything else is pretty flat. Now, because we added so much glue, you could get some warping from the, from the moisture. So I will go ahead and add a sandbag. This is actually holding down pretty well. 
I'm gonna be really careful about this right on top here. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and glue down the rest of our quilt. I did find when I used the magnet and I didn't uh, weigh everything down, my MDF board warped a little bit in the center. So how I fixed that was I actually sprayed the back of my MDF with water and then I weighed it upside down. So this was facing down on another piece of MDF and let it sit overnight with my sandbags and that completely flattened it back out. So if you ever have that problem where you warp, just spray the back, flip it and weigh it back down, okay? So let's go ahead and add our next layer. When you go to open these files, I actually have numbered the files. So you'll be able to reference all of the petal numbers and leaf numbers. These are not numbered obviously, and that's because I am putting it together. I don't need it, I'll be okay. The basket will go here, and then we'll have one more layer to put on for the leaves. So what I will do is go ahead and add glue to both of these and I'll need to weigh this down. It's a little warped, not too bad. But the beauty of this is that even if it does pop up a little bit because it's a different uh, level than the rest of the quilt, it doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and add some glue. The other way we could do this is add to the actual pieces rather than adding to the backer. And I'm gonna try to work fairly fast with this. I'm not gonna do the tape and flip for this part because if I do it in sections, I should be able to have enough working time with this glue to be able to get everything properly placed. So start with placing our flower. Place our leaves. And then place our basket. Probably gonna go ahead and weigh this down with a sandbag while I work on the rest. So now what I'll do is I will work on, I'll work on this flower first since I have a little bit of glue that came out. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to start lifting and gluing. I'm gonna do the easier parts first. And then as I work, I'm going to basically do one flower at a time or the branch and then the leaves. So you're working in the sections and then we're gonna make sure that we are lined up over our underneath layer once we are done with getting all the pieces in that spot, okay? So let's start with this one and we're just gonna kind of move the pieces off and then put my cap back on so that I'm not getting crazy with glue. Use our dabber and we are going to carefully pull the glue along. Easier way would also be to just add the glue to your pieces. Like I'm a little concerned I did that here. I probably should have added it to my piece because it's probably gonna seep. So be aware of, of seepage. All right, so let's add our stem leaves and So I am gonna just add a little bit of glue to the back of this and lay it down. Glue, lay it down. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue to the back. Line it up. Let's do the big flower. Actually, let's do this one first. I'm just gonna take it off. I'm just gonna kind of slide. 
slide it off here. Now we go around, check all of our edges, which we're good, and then I'm going to flip it around and check it again. And we look good on this side too. All right. Beautiful. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and files like this. Thanks so much.